In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of rank of a matrix. The rank of a matrix is equal to the order of the highest order non-singular matrix contained in a given matrix. So in any given matrix, the order of the highest order non-singular matrix is the rank of the given matrix. We already know what is a non-singular matrix. A non-singular matrix is a square matrix whose determinant is not equal to zero. If matrix A is given, then rank of matrix A is written as rank within bracket A. The rank of a matrix is the maximum number of linearly independent rows or columns of a given matrix. According to the property of a determinant, we already know that in a given matrix, if any two rows or any two columns are linearly dependent, then the value of the determinant will be equal to zero. So the rank of a matrix is the maximum number of linearly independent rows or columns. If in a given matrix, there are three rows and three columns which are linearly independent of each other, then the rank of the given matrix will be three. The rank of a matrix would be zero only if the matrix has all zero elements. That is, if it is a null matrix or a zero matrix. If a matrix has only one element, its minimum rank will be one. If A is M by N, where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns, then rank of A subscript M by N is equal to or less than a minimum of the number of rows or the number of columns. Where M I N within bracket M n denotes the smaller of the two numbers m and n or the common value if m is equal to n for example the rank of a 3 by 5 matrix that is a matrix containing three rows and five columns can be no more than 3 and the rank of a 4 by 2 matrix that is a matrix containing four rows and two columns can be no more than 2 if A is a 3 by 5 matrix, that is a matrix containing 3 rows and 5 columns, then rank of A subscript 3 by 5 is equal to or less than a minimum of 3 rows and 5 columns. So minimum of these two is 3. Hence, the rank of matrix A can be 3 or less than 3. In order to understand further the concept of rank of a matrix, let us do a problem on how to find the rank of a matrix. In this question, they have asked us to find the rank of matrix A, which contain some elements. In the solution, first of all, we will write down what is given. The order of the given matrix is three by three. Using the formula, the possible rank of matrix A is rank of matrix A, which contain three rows and three columns is equal to or less than a minimum of the number of row and number of column. That is, the rank of matrix A is equal to 3 or less than 3. Now, the highest possible submatrix of the given matrix is 3 by 3 order, that is, itself. Now, in order to know whether the rank of the given matrix is equal to 3 or less than 3, we need to find the determinant of the highest possible submatrix of the given matrix that is itself this is the highest possible submatrix of matrix a let us find its determinant on solving we find that the determinant is equal to zero and hence the matrix is a singular matrix now since the determinant of the highest possible submatrix which is of three by three order is equal to zero therefore the given matrix cannot have a rank of 3. Now let us check whether the given matrix has a rank of 2 or less than 2. The possible 2 by 2 order submatrices of the given matrix are let us first form the submatrices from first row and second row by deleting the third row. By deleting the third row, there are two submatrices which can be formed from the first and second row. 
So in this particular example, I have shown how the two matrices are formed. The first matrix A1 contain elements 1, 2, 2 and 4. While the second matrix A2 contain elements 2, 3, 4 and 6. Now in order to know whether the given matrix is of rank 2 or less than 2, we need to find the determinant of the sub matrices. On solving, we see that the determinants of the two sub matrices are 0. Let us again form a sub matrices of 2 by 2 order by deleting the first row. There are two sub matrices which can be formed from the second and third row by deleting the first row. In this example, I have showed how the two sub matrices are formed from the second and third row. The first sub matrix A3 contains of elements 2, 4, minus 3 and minus 6. The second sub matrix A4 contain elements 4, 6, minus 6 and minus 9. Again in order to know whether the given matrix has a rank of 2 or less than 2, we need to find the determinant of the sub matrices. On solving, we can see that the determinant of the two sub matrices are 0. Since the determinants of all the sub matrices of 2 by 2 order formed from the given matrix are 0, the given matrix is not of rank 2. Now since all the 1 by 1 sub matrices of the given matrix are non-zero, their determinants are also non-zero. Now 1 by 1 sub matrices are matrix which contain only one element. So a sub matrix of given matrix can be a matrix which contain only element 1, a sub matrix which contain only element 2, a sub matrix which contain only element 3 and so on. So the determinant of these sub matrices are non-zero since the elements are non-zero. Therefore the rank of the given matrix A is 1.